Creed 3 is arriving this week and it looks fire, man. So we're gonna take a look back at the first two. Admittedly, I'm not the most knowledgeable Rocky fan, but just recently I watched Rocky 1 and 2 for a better understanding when looking at Creed and to see what I do and don't like of the new films comparatively. I will say it might be a hot take, but the Creed movies low-key slap a bit harder. I'm not saying they're overall better though, like Rocky has a much more endearing story and brings a lot of charm that I think the Creed movies can lack at times. Besides some borderline creepy moments and some stuff that didn't age the best like the action and sound design, it was a very solid and fun series to look through. The Creed movies, however, are just packing a certain punch that I personally love. These movies have a lot going for them. For starters, the stylized modern sports feel is something I love. I'm a huge combat sports fan and this makes me feel like I'm not only watching real boxing matches, but that this is an actual realistic story that I can put myself into. Although that's not to say everything is super realistic. Oh my lord! Nah, I just thought it was dope how they presented everything as if it were just a part of the real world. Like during the opening few scenes of the movie, Adonis is studying film and watching his father through YouTube, and as all the big fights nowadays, they would eventually get put on YouTube and promoted as classic bouts. I just found it neat because it felt real. I mean, if the Rocky fights were actually real and they happened at some point in history, it would make sense that they would be blasted on the internet as great fights, but also the fighters like Rocky Balboa would just fade into being known as a great fighter talked about with the other greats of the sport. Speaking of Rocky, he's fantastic in these movies. I'm pretty sure from what I've read online that the Rocky Balboa movie dives into his life after boxing and shares some similar themes, but nonetheless I found it really sweet seeing all the love he gets and also it was very sad seeing how alone he was. Although the cancer plotline isn't always something great to throw around, here I think it's actually done very well. These films after all are heavily centered around the themes of perseverance and while Creed is overcoming his personal fight as a boxer, Rocky is overcoming his own fight outside the ring. Only when they are both able to overcome their pride, they come together triumphant in their respective battles. Now onto Adonis, he's extremely likable. It's already a big plus that you have Michael B. Jordan in the role, who is seemingly one of the most charming dudes in the world, and he actually looks like he can be an athlete. But as a character, I really appreciated what he was. He's not coming from a bad situation or fighting to survive, he's just boxing because he loves it and he's boxing to overcome legacy. Battling against his own self-deprecating thoughts, he wants to prove to the world, and more importantly to himself, that he is worth something. I gotta prove it. Prove what? I'm not a mistake. Although not everyone has a world-renowned father's legacy hanging overhead, I think there's something so relatable about having aspirations for your life and chasing those dreams even if people tell you otherwise. As someone who is constantly focused on success and my future, it gave me such a motivating feeling watching Adonis work hard and chase his dreams because he wants it that bad. Again, the base layers of the film are perseverance and while the film does have a bit more depth than that, I think that's where it thrives. I mean that's why Rocky is so good, who doesn't love a feel good underdog story? And the type of emotions you get here watching Adonis achieve his goals and prove to himself who he is, that shit will get you hyped. What else will get you hyped is these goddamn training montages, man. I could watch ripped ass Michael Jordan get heat stroke and take 5 years off of his life all day. Shit's got me ready to fight Canelo, man. The plot in the first one is pretty straightforward, working his way through his ego and training to become the best. The antagonist is cool, I like how they introduced the other fighters through HBO documentaries, it felt like a clever way to let us know who the characters are in a realistic way. We don't get a lot of time with Ricky Conlon, it's more the challenge of him than anything, but I thought it worked fine. The second movie though, we get a much more interesting antagonist in Victor Drago. I honestly would have loved to see so much more of him, I mean even his own movie, sure, like, he's the most interesting character in these films by far for me. Baby Drago is such a layered and complex character if he's given the time, and to me he comes across quite sympathetic despite being a meathead sometimes. They have this fascinating family dynamic paired with the weight of an entire nation. 
having Victor basically being raised and bred to be the ultimate fighter by his father, Ivan is driven by determination to repair his family name after basically getting disowned by the people he loves and the whole nation since he lost to Rocky. He tells Victor failure is not an option, putting the stakes of not only being a fighter, but carrying the burden of the family legacy from a young age. Victor also comes to resent the people that turned on his father, despite continuing to fight and gain their praise. There's a lot of similarities with Victor and Creed, so although the plot of the first for me is more cohesive and enjoyable, I really like the relationships and themes between these two. I mean, who's focused on the plot anyways, am I right? Nah, I'm just kidding. Each movie has their moments and do well sitting on some emotional scenes, but for real, the reason we're all watching in the end is for some fire-ass fights and the perseverance of it all. Honestly, putting aside realism and fight IQ, these sequences are amazing, man. This is what I'm talking about when I see these Creed movies pack a little something extra for me. Despite this dude having zero fundamental defensive boxing, missed. Get ready to Get an ambulance! Man down! 911, what's your emergency? He's dead. I swear to God, I'm ready to eat creatine by the spoonful and max out on every machine imaginable. This dude right here got me feeling some type of way. The amount of times bro has come back from the depths of CTE, good god. Despite bro getting knocked unconscious, he lucked out having Mario Yamasaki as his ref because he woke up and said, yeah, I'm just getting started. Despite moving up in weight class and fighting Muscle Man over here built like a mountain gorilla, double the size of poor Adonis, bro managed to finish Beefcake here in the motherland. The ending to Creed 2 having Ivan throw in the towel had so much meaning and was such a fantastic character moment. A perfect way to end it and leaving on that note had me foaming in a roid infused adrenaline high waiting for Creed 3. Overall, I thought the Creed movies were just a really good time. They packed some great action and keep you hyped throughout. And for Creed 3, I think it's gonna be great. Jonathan Majors has been killing it lately, and by the trailers, I could already tell that at the very minimum, I'm gonna be ready to hit the gym right after I get out of the theater. God damn, that shit looks hyped! Oh!